Hello, my name is Michael Beer. I'm here with uh, Code Pink and others to uh, express support for the Gaza people. We are desperately, desperately upset with U.S. policy, which supports the blockade and siege of Gaza and the open-air prison of Gaza. And we are here today in solidarity with the international efforts of the Gaza Freedom Flotilla to bring medical supplies and humanitarian assistance to the people of Gaza and to break the siege and the blockade. We're very distressed that the Israeli uh, uh, forces attacked in the international waters uh, two days ago the Al Ada return boat uh, that was bringing medical supplies, and they were very were quite violent, and they kidnapped everybody and grabbed the boat. And these people are, some of them are still in Israeli detention. And we are calling on the Israelis to stop immediately your policy of uh, making Gaza an open air prison and to make peace with the Palestinians uh, and to stop this attacking of boats in international waters that are trying to get to Gaza to deliver medical supplies and medical aid. We've, I work at Nonviolence International and we're the US fiscal sponsor of this uh, Freedom Flotilla, and we have had a thousand people donate funds to try to help uh, get medical supplies to the people of Gaza. And we want the people of Gaza to know that there's enormous support for the Palestinian people and to end this blockade in this country. And we're calling on everybody to call up Congress, call up State Department, call up the UN, and stop this blockade now and stop the attacks on our boats now. Thank you. So I'm Medea Benjamin and I want to thank all of the people who helped to put together the Gaza Freedom Flotilla. And um, it was a flotilla that went around the coasts of Europe, uh, stopping in different ports along the way to have uh, rallies and meetings and educate people about what's going on in Gaza. So thousands and thousands of people learned about the problem along the way. Uh, now that the boats are being intercepted in international water, we want to give a particular shout out to the one American who is on the boats. You know, a lot of people from this country wanted to go, but there was only a, a place for one American, and that's Joe Miedos. And Joe is somebody who knows about the Israeli brutality on international waters because he was in the U.S. Navy when the U.S. ship the USS Liberty was shot by the Israelis in 1967 and so many US sailors died at that time and the people, the families, the victims and the people who survived have never been given a real explanation about what happened. And so now this very brave man is back in international waters being subjected to Israeli abuse. And we say to him, thank you, Joe. You honor us with your courage and with your sacrifice. And for all of you who are in Gaza and all of you who are trying to get to Gaza, we are with you. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, I am Amal Garada. And um, uh, because of my origin, Palestinian uh, roots, um, I um, strongly support uh, the boats uh, which have supporters to the, uh, to the Palestinians, especially in Gaza, because Gaza uh, had been under siege for 12 years, and uh, there is a strong now blockade from all the services, which is essential for life so um, Gaza have uh, a serious problem now in electricity because they have the electricity for just four hours a day and sometimes for two hours a day so the children are suffering from uh, hot weather so no cold water no uh, electricity 
for fans, for air conditioners, for refrigerators, the food, um, the food goes bad in this weather. So, and even the medicine, the hospitals, all need electricity. So there is sick people, old people, children, they need, you know, that uh, very important service uh, for people's life. Imagine here, if people, they don't have electricity, except for four hours or two hours a day, what would happen to our life? So there is not just political, you know, political part of what's going on, there is a human part of what's going on. So I'm supporting strongly the people who are on the boards. And uh, I think what Israel is doing against them is a crime because when they stopped them and when they arrested them, they were in the international uh, water. It, does, it, 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 is, it doesn't belong even to the borders to what's called Israel. But they don't want like anybody to support. They don't want any rights for people in Gaza. They want them just to die and not only die you know, biologically. No, they want them to die psychologically. To have no more uh, hope that they will be free or that they that the um, refugees will return to their uh, lands because many people who live in Gaza now are refugees and they what that's why they go to the borders of the occupied lands and they st struggle there because they want to go back because they don't have life in Gaza and they lost everything. And they are, most of them are, are poor and without you know, basic services in, in which a human being need for life. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would like to say thank you, big thank you for those who always go on boats because this happened every year and I wish I can be on one of these boats in the future. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank right. you. Free Palestine! Free, 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 free Palestine.